Hey everybody, welcome to another video news. Today we are reviewing an antenna. It is this antenna from Bing Fu. Bing Fu. Um, got it off Amazon, and it is for uh, SMA female connectors. As you can see on the packaging that it comes in. Ooh. Uh, there's another piece of the packaging that I don't have presently. I did a minute ago, but I can't seem to find it. Uh, all it is, it says Bing Fu on it, and it tells you like all the stuff that they apparently make. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so what's up with this antenna? So this is an antenna that I got for uh, to use with the AR152 radio. Um, I needed another antenna with a little better range than I was getting off of these normal Baofeng antennas. And this Bing Fu antenna, uh, 144 to 340 megahertz. I can't confirm that. I wish I could. I wish I had this the, the cool oscillators and booplers and bloppers and machines, but I don't, so I can't and I won't. But anyway, uh, what I can tell you is it got good range. Uh, it has the functionality I wanted. I wanted a ra an antenna with goosenecking, so I can gooseneck it up and put it through my like, slots on my shoulder. And I wanted something, kind of honestly wanted something that looks like a donkey dick. And this kind of looks like a donkey dick. A little thinner. Most donkey dicks a little thicker, a little meatier, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, when you get it, it does come with this little gasket. And you put that here, and that's to help it seat better on the UV5R or AR152. So on the UV5R, we got the AR152's quote unquote uh, broad broadband UHF antenna, VHF UHF tactical antenna, whatever. It's supposed to kind of look like a Thales antenna. It looks close enough. It is shorter. I'll actually link up my AR152 review where I talk about that and compare it. A little card will pop up. Anyway, uh, on this UV5R, we do have a Great Plains Creations armor, and I'll also put a card up for that review, in case you're curious. So, running this on this radio, it fit just fine. The only issue I had was, uh, with the added weight of this antenna, uh, it did loosen up this gold portion here. Not sure why, but it's happened before with other antennas, and you just got to tighten it back up and go from there. So, it will work with the UV5R. Uh, I don't know if it's an issue with my radio or other radios too, but I would be careful if you're going to run on a UV5R with that aspect and have that in mind. Please ignore the barking chihuahua in the background. So this is the AR152 radio, and this is kind of the radio I, I plan on running this antenna on the most, and it is a much more solid connection, and it feels like the AR152, the AR152 radio can handle... The extra weight of this antenna better uh, than the UV5R can. Like I said, I got it because of goosenecking and it does work. Uh, so distance and ranges. We tested these out uh, out here. I live in a rural area now. I moved from San Antonio a little, uh, just a little ways back after I retired. And we have good ranges to play with out here and good distances to kind of goof with. So we picked a mile and a half uh, off the dirt road that we're at. And I placed uh, my son a one end with the UV5R with a cattail wearable whip antenna. And then I ran this antenna on the one the 152 and we separated, I parked, I dropped him off and then I drove down at set distances and kept and did radio checks. I drive, get out, radio check, drive, get out, radio check. Uh, at about half a mile, fantastic radio comms, fantastic clear as a bell. Little over a mile, right about a mile, we were having, we had a weird dead zone. I think that was mostly terrain oriented, not necessarily because it wasn't a complete flat line of sight. I did have some hills and trees. Uh, at a mile and a half, though, it picked right back up, and suddenly I was really getting um, good comms out of it and was able to hear him clear as a bell, actually better than when running the standard Baofeng antennas. So keep that in mind. Take that for what it's worth. We did another test where we basically put a little bit of kit on, grabbed the radios, and then we walked with about a hundred. 100, 150 meter dispersion. We did a uh, staggered column, like road march, basically, and we just stayed in comms with each other and did a mile, the mile and a half walk, and we had no issues with comms whatsoever. Never, never did we get a dead zone or any issues. Everything was very clear, uh, very concise, and very, very precise. And that's what I wanted. So the antenna itself, more or less, I believe, works within the bands it says it's going to. I can't 100% say that's exactly perfect because I don't have the measuring equipment to say it's doing that, it's pushing this, pushing that. But what I could say is uh, the gooseneck is nice. It does work. It looks, I mean, half the airsoft game is cool. It looks cool on the radio and it is doing what I need it to do and what I want it to do. 
so I'm not worried about flexing uh, like this antenna and screwing it up or messing with the other antenna I have. Um, most of the time I run the cattail wearable wearable whips anyway, but there's going to be times where I'm not running one of those, and that's where this new antenna is going to kind of come into play and help me out. Uh, the last whip antenna I bought, quote unquote, for one of these uh, was decent but the gooseneck wasn't very good and very accurate. That's kind of all I got, guys. I hope you got something out of this. I hope this was a helpful review. Like I said, I don't, for the price, this is good. I don't know if it's pushing what it says, but it looks good on the radio. It'll do what you need to do for milsim purposes. Uh, for the prepared citizen or someone who's getting into radios, ham and all that stuff, it might be good, it might be bad, I don't know. I am not as versed in that world yet. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting there, but I'm not quite where I need to be. So I can't speak intellectually on it, so I'm not going to. Hope you guys, like I said, got something out of this. Um, as always, if you enjoy this content, consider hitting the subscribe button. It's the little helmet in the bottom right-hand corner. This is kind of stuff I cover, kind of stuff I review. Punch that guy in the head, join me here. We're not on a normal schedule right now. I'm trying to stick to two videos a week. Sometimes I can only push out one. I'm hoping to get back to my normal uh, schedule of three videos a week by the end of October at the latest, that's going to be, you know, más o menos, I don't know, more or less, it's a time frame. Uh, we'll see. But until then, LARP smarter, not harder. Get out there, play some airsoft. Uh, make sure your comms are squared away because the game is way more fun if you can talk to somebody at distance. And until next time, hopefully see you on the field. Take care.